what is up you guys it's ricky 572 return of the chance and today is what's today january 26 it's one of my day offs so uh on my day off i don't like doing shit especially at night i like to relax and kick back and play some Yu-Gi-Oh. so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna hop on edo and we're gonna test out let's see what should we test out today uh let's l let me show you guys my marinsis deck because i'm about to be doing a deck profile on this pretty soon so we're gonna go on here let's see let's go to ua competitive now we're in the us so let's see what what there is in the us i guess no one's playing on in the us okay let's play casual tcg let's go against this guy named juggler let's see what he got all right and we're gonna go, oh damn it. We wanted to go first, but let's see what he chose us. Oh, we do impermanent ash blossoms, that's good. Impermanent ash blossom, Chikani diagram. I know what that does. He's just gonna set. Yeah, we're not gonna let him do that. Nah. We're gonna ash blossom, Chikani diagram. Oh, he's playing True Draco? You can tribute summon this card face up. On the return when your opponent activates a card effect while you control this tribute summon monster, you can add one to Draco. Okay. Alright, so I guess that's what he's doing here. Alright, so we have a pretty good hand. I don't know what he has in his hand. I guess he's playing true Dracos. Haven't seen these in a while. I wasn't really around when they were good. But I know they got power crap, so let's see. Should we ask Blossom this, this thing? Let's turn when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control this tribute summon monster, you can add one to Draco or True King from your deck to your hand. Huh. So it doesn't matter, as long as I activate something. And it's 2600. Huh. So either way he's gonna add. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Just go into Marinsis. We're gonna go into Blue Slug. Blue Slug is gonna let us add the Seahorse. I know he's gonna activate that. No matter what, he's gonna activate it. And he added this bitch. If this tribute summon, if this tribute, if to tribute summon this face up card. This card face up, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap you control instead of a monster. Once per turn when your opponent activates a card effect while you control this. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I think we could. We're still good. I think we could play around this. So we're gonna special summon Seahorse. We're gonna go into Sea Angel. Sea Angel's effect is gonna activate to love at the field spell. Battle Ocean. And we're just gonna quickly activate Bat Ocean just in case. But we're gonna now go into Core Anemone. Uh, do we want to do that? Let's not do that yet. Anemone's gonna activate to Splash Summon Seahorse. And now we're gonna Link Climb into a Link 3 Marbled Rock. And we're gonna trigger two effects. Activate Battle Ocean, and we're also going to activate Core Anemone. Core Anemone is going to add back Seahorse. Now we're going to attach one and two. And that's it, just two. We're just going to attach two. Now we're going to activate and get our Slug. The reason we're only activating two is because we have a bunch of trap cards in our hand and we want to be able to use them. So we're just going to go ahead and attack into that. I forgot that shit had a second effect. I never knew that. Once per turn, you can destroy one card. Oh no, for the first time, each tribute summon True Drake or True King would be destroyed by battle. Each turn is not destroyed. Okay, so fuck. Alright, so let's set the trap hole. Let's set the solemn judgment and the imperm. So the way I run Marinsis, uh, this deck is basically revolved around uh, uh, traps. I let Marinsis 
I just used the Marinsis as like an engine, which is basically the main deck engine. Uh, and then I just back it up with traps because I'm able to play a lot of traps. Some people play a lot of hand traps. I prefer to play the actual traps. I think the only hand trap I play is Ash Blossom in this deck. And Imperm if you call it. It's basically a trap card, but I guess you could call it a hand trap too. Okay, let's see what he does. Pantheism, 7-1 Monarch. He's playing True Draco Monarch? What? Okay, and then you could draw two cards. Do you want him to draw the two cards? Yeah, let's not let him draw the two cards. Because he has the true Draco, but he can't really summon it unless he tributes this. And that just lets him um, add a monarch. You can banish it. What the fuck? So no matter what, he's going to use it. I should have... No, well, he's going to use it anyway. At least we didn't let him draw two cards. And to activate that. Now what is he going to do? Okay, so he destroyed it in order to add a true drake or a true king. I guess he, oh, that he's playing Monarch true Draco or true Draco. What the fuck? How did I not realize he didn't have an extra deck? Or she didn't have an extra deck. That's pretty scary. We do not want him to uh, get a, what, what's that thing called? Their field spell? What? Really? We could have gone through with him. See, see what, what the fuck? Okay, all right, game two. Is he, is he going to go into game two? Yeah, he's going to game two. Well, I guess we won that one. It's a good thing he didn't get the, the um what do you call it? His field spell, because that shit would have shut my whole deck down. For those of you that don't know what the field spell does, it basically locks me out of my extra deck. And for those of you who don't know what Marin says focuses on, they focus on link climbing. So without an extra deck, I am basically fucked. So we're going into game two and let's see if he, um, hopefully he doesn't draw the, the, um, the field spell. And we're waiting. I wonder what the fuck he's siding in. Either he, either he's siding in cards or he, um... Okay, there you go. Alright, so we drew the Kaiju. We drew two Solemns, a Marinsa's Wave, and a Dupe Frog. Let's see what we could do with this. Okay, he's setting three fucking face downs. Alright, let's see what he does. So I drew a Swap Frog. So we could go into our little Swap and a little, um frog engine Fro frog combo engine whatever you want to call it so we're just going to special summon do frog i mean soft frog activate its effect to send the ronin totem if he doesn't negate this yeah he didn't negate it i wonder where he has phase down Activate by paying 1,000 life point monsters that are banished as well as monsters in the graveyard cannot activate their effects. Okay. So we're still gonna send it. And we're gonna activate, put it back in our hand. And we're gonna normal summon it. And guess what? It's not once per turn. Well, it's not a hard once per turn, so we get to do it again. So now we're going to send another copy. Just in case. And then we're just going to go into attack. Hit them with a thousand. So you activated. There can only be one, so I cannot control two of the same type. So he basically locked me out of um, going into the frog. Toad, the toad. But guess what? We have two solemn judgment that will prevent, me, prevent you from doing shit. Really? What the fuck? I just had a frog out. You could jump. What the fuck? <sighs> I hate when I do this. 
Like really just play it out, see how it, it'll go. All right, so we're just gonna go and try to face someone else. Let's see, Radix. Let's go with this guy. Let's see if he doesn't surrender either. Don't check deck. What? What the fuck does that mean? And now we're gonna go first, of course, because we want, well, in this deck, we want to set our spells and traps. Unfortunately, we drew no Marensis, but let's try to, we at least drew Sinic Mining, which is gonna let us grab our Marensis. And it doesn't look like he has an Ash Blossom. So we're just gonna normal summon Blue Tang. Blue Tang is gonna activate its effect. We're gonna dump the Seahorse. Now we're gonna link Blue Tang away for Blue Slug. Blue Slug is gonna activate. We're gonna add the Seahorse back. And then we're also gonna activate Blue Tang. So we can have a local chain block. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, no more is this card. That's fine. Now we're gonna special summon. And we're gonna get our field spell using Seahorse again. Nope, we don't wanna chain our own Ash Blossom. Why the fuck would we do that? And now we're just gonna activate the field spell just to be safe. You never know. And we're gonna special summon Anemone. No, we're not gonna activate it yet. Not activate Anemone. Special summon Blue Tang. It doesn't really matter which one you special summon because you're just gonna link them away. And now you're gonna activate. And you're also gonna activate Core Anemone. Anemone's gonna add Blue Tang. And Marble Rock is gonna equip. And equip. And equip. It's probably stupid, but. I should have probably left one of those in there. But we're gonna activate Seahorse. And now we're gonna set two. I really hope he doesn't have a um, Harpy Spider though, because if he does, we're fucked. Let's see what he's playing. Radix. So he's gonna dump with one for one. Mizuki. Okay, we're not gonna let him do that. It looks like he's gonna be playing zombies. And I do not want uh, Balderosh to hit the fields. Because he's. What? Skull Servants? Oh, he's playing Skull Servants? The original attack of this combo. This is combined Skull Servants and. Okay, what do you do? Oh, he did a Linkery bomb? Okay. Wait, that's it? That's it? Really? That's no fun. Now we're just gonna norm I think this is pretty much game. Just gonna normal summon rinse with blue tang. We're gonna send uh what's her name? Mandarin to the graveyard. We're gonna could we game? No, let's just play it safe. We're gonna do this. Yes, we're gonna activate. And we're gonna activate two effects in the graveyard. An enemy. To put back one. And we're gonna activate Blue Tang. To excavate. And we drew a wave. Yes, we're gonna draw at the wave. And now we're gonna equip one, two, three. No. And we're just gonna attack. So 
So we're not going to finish him off next turn. I mean this turn, but we're definitely going to finish him off next turn. Hit you with that thousand. May phase two. And that's where we end. So let's see, I've never faced a Skull Servant deck, so I really don't know what they do. This one, White Mare, I've actually pulled this before, face up level 3 or lower zombie monster in the field, cannot be destroyed by battle, also they aren't affected by spells and trap card effects, what, that's crazy, that's a really good card, not be destroyed by battle, okay. Wait, why, why do you just leave it out there? I mean... Why just leave it out there? Okay, I'm gonna just go into attack. Let's see what he does. That's a really... Like... Is there something you're planning to do with it? No? Well, I'm gonna activate my... Wonder Hearts ability. Special summon. Attack directly with 2700. I'm just going to main phase two. Let's normal summon it. And now we're gonna go into Bubble Reef. And that's it. I mean, I don't see what he's planning to do with this. Like I said, I never faced Skull Servant, so I have no idea what, what he's planning. Oh, what the fuck? I skipped it. Ah. Oh, well. During every standby phase, I oh, shit. He gains a thousand? Okay. This card is destroyed by battle. Since the graveyard, you could banish one other king of skull servants or a skull servant from your graveyard special summon this card hmm I really look need to look into this deck because I know at one point they were but they were pretty good I just don't know what they do okay okay you're at 1500 life ways don't tell me that's it that's like what what are you planning to do? Alright, let's just go in for the attack. We're not gonna overextend or do anything else. We're just gonna go in for that attack. Just so we could go on to the next game. It's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna attack directly. Unless you have something. What do you have? That didn't seem so satisfying. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see if we can find some competition over at competitive. Nope, nothing. Let's go to Europe. Your is 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 that what EU stands for? Europe Central. I think. Let's play R Rico. Ah, oh, damn it, he's in the game. Really. There's no one on right now? Alright, back to competitive. Oh crap, okay. Ready. See, he's on competitive, so he must be running something pretty good. Yes. And we're ready. And we're ready. Fuck's sake, so long, I swear to god. Alright, let's refresh. Crab again. Crab, 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 crab. Oh my god. Uh, let's go to U EU again. Okay, there's some more people, so let's play. Let's play this guy. Doji. Doji. Okay, nice. 
Yes, and we won the. So we're going first. Okay, and we drew a. Okay. I mean, we have our little starter here, Seahorse, but we're going to go and try to grab our um, blue tang. He's going to negate it. Let, let's let him negate it. Okay, that's fine. We have another one. That's fine. It was bait anyway. Well, it wasn't bait, but it's fine. We can still we can climb. And if it all, all, all if it all goes bad, then we still have evenly matched in our hands. So now we're gonna activate. Does he have an effect bailer? I swear to God, he has an effect bailer. Or gamma. Or imperm. That'll do it too. Okay, so that's two hand traps. Fuck, we just wasted our resources. Alright, so we're just gonna set the compulsory and that's it. That's two of our seahorses though, already gone to the graveyard. And we don't have any way of getting them back. So we better draw a blue tang next turn. Did you not draw a monster? Oh shit. Not these. Ah, shit. Unchained. For those of you who have not faced uh, this deck, Unchained is basically a deck that revolves around their cards getting destroyed. And every time they get destroyed, they basically uh, float into another one of the of, of a, another unchained card, whether from the deck or the graveyard, or I think from the hand too. God damn, they they've been really annoying. I have a we have a friend uh, who who actually built the deck, so I've actually played against it a couple times. It's always really surprising because they could just bring out this this things like this look look at that just by destroying their own card they could just pop, bring this card yeah we're gonna activate it and i'm gonna put that back in the hand and of course you're gonna pop that right Okay, what this one does, so let me, what? You're gonna, oh, you see? So they popped their own shit, and now he's gonna bring out something else from the deck. Too bad, I think he already used his effect. No, he hasn't. And what this one does, you could target, you could target one card you control, destroy it. Also, you cannot spare summon monster on for the rest of the turn, except fiend time monsters. So it destroyed himself. This card is gonna be destroyed by a card effect, except by. I think he misplayed. I think he misplayed. I think he misplayed. Okay, okay, we might still have a chance. We might still have a chance. Okay, I think he misplayed. I don't know what he's trying to do, but I think he misplayed. He misplayed. That's why he quit. He misplayed. Damn it. Alright, let's go. March sucks. Let's try you now. People really need to pay attention. Read your cards, people. He destroyed his own um, monster, and his monster can only activate its effect if it's destroyed by another card effect except its own. So we're going to go first. Okay, so we drew our... Our swap frog, so we're gonna special summon it. We're gonna dump Godzilla. And a special summon. We're gonna activate its effect to dump the Ronin Toad into the graveyard. Now we're gonna activate its effect to bounce it back to the hand. We're gonna normal summon it. Activate. And we're gonna send a copy of itself to the graveyard. And activate Rolling Tonin's effect. 
special than a soft rock. I recently dropped the count of this. I, I used to run it at two, but now I run it at one just because I was seeing it in my hand too often. And really you only need one to basically pull off the combo. So we're just going to go into, hopefully he doesn't have anything to stop this. And then we need going to reborn swap frog. Swap frog is going to dump again. And let's do, let's do you. Another version of itself. And now we're going to activate Ronin Totem again. Because not once per turn. And now we're just going to go into Totally Awesome. Put it over here. And we're going to set two cards. And we're going to pass. So we have one negation. We have uh, another. Why is it not letting me do it? Come on, don't miss it. There you go. Send Ronin Totem to Graveyard to Special Summon to Dupe Frog. And we have our Ash Blossom in our hand. And we have Grave Digger's Trap Pole too. And we have Trap Trick to use after Grave Digger's Trap Pole to get anything we want from our deck. And we've run a bunch of traps, so we can access anything we want. What are you gonna get? Let's let that go through. Oh shit. Okay. So we're we're playing against a uh, invoked. But invoked what? Invoked what am I playing against? Okay, so we know he's gonna have a Alistair. Invoke the what? End of the turn? Yes, we're gonna activate. Trap trick. Trap trick is gonna let me. Let's set infinite and perm right here. Okay, we do another Ash Blossom. Nice. And yes, we're going to activate our own totem. I mean, totally awesome. It's about to summon. Fuck it, we're going to Ash Blossom that shit too. He's probably going to play Mystic Mine. Fuck you. <laughs> Lucky draw. I think we could OTK. We're just gonna summon out the Ronin Tonin. And we're gonna go into access code. That's all we need. Cool. Now we're going to activate. And we're going to special some. You know what? Let's do this first. If you can't change to it. And pop the face down. That was cosmic. Okay, that's it. Game! Game! Let's save this one. I actually like this one. I don't know who he was playing. I think he was playing Invoked. So we're going to go Marinsis versus Invoked. Alright. Game two, game two. What is he making us go? Is he making us go second? Okay. Of course, he's going to go into Alistair, and duh, he's going to go into the Mechapa.
for those of you that don't know this combo normal summon alistair you grab invocation you uh link alistair into omraj then you link omraj into the fuck is he doing huh what the fuck each player can only attempt to activate one monster effect for turn. Each player can only attack with one monster during each battle phase. That's something new. Ah, sh shit. Okay. I was not expecting this. Hmm. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a mecha book, but okay, so we're gonna do this then. We're just gonna make him activate it. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot. He can't be targeted. <laughs> okay, he can't be targeted. Okay, so, okay, so we're gonna have to do this differently i do have i do have something that could get rid of it i'm gonna get it rid of the rinse's wave what does he have in a graveyard he's gonna let it go through that's fine no it's not fine it's not fucking fine ah oh, shit okay he might have this one I could do that, but he's just gonna destroy it. You know what? Let's not activate. We're not gonna activate. Yeah, we're not gonna activate. We're just gonna activate Blue Tang. And I'm a chain block. So we're gonna activate. And now we're gonna activate Blue Tang. So we could chain block. So now he's gonna have to negate that if he wants to negate. Damn, I'm so stupid. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, so I guess he is running like some kind of Dragoon Turbo type of deck. Another one? Okay, so it is a Dragon Turbo type of deck. Ah, oh, shit. It is a Dragon Turbo deck. And I didn't want to waste that on on Nikon because I didn't think I was gonna do that. Yeah, why not? Let's chain it. Just have fun with it. <laughs> it is a dragoon turbo. What? And an Alistair? Oh yeah, he did normal summon. Wait, what? Oh wait, he could right. He can't special summon, he can normal summon, so that's six. That's enough for game. Alright. Okay. So now we know what he's playing. It's okay, we're going first next one next turn, so I think we got this. Come on, let's draw into a whole bunch of trap trap cards right now. He probably runs like three red eyes fusion. That's his focus in his deck. Summoning red eyes. Yes, I'm gonna go first. Okay. So we can't really do much with this, but we could try. We're just gonna normal summon. Activate. 
gonna dump the Ronin Toad because we don't want to draw into that. And we're just gonna put it back in our hand. And then we're gonna set the Solemn. Set the Grave Digger's Trap Hole. Set the Trap Trick. And set Marinus's Wave. And we're just gonna answer. If he top deck of fucking feathers, I swear to God. He better not have top deck with feathers, sister. Okay, come on, let's see. Let's see. Wait, he's answering battle phase? Ah, oh, evenly matched. Yeah, I got something for that, though. I got something for evenly to match my guy. Uh, let's do that. And let's go with... Okay, so he's not going to be able to... I mean, he could. He could. Send it back because we don't want him to link and then go into it. Unless he has something in the fucking hand to fusion with it. Oh, yes, we drew a frog. You know what that means? Special summon. I guess we're gonna trigger to send. Uh, we'll send you. I swear to God, what the fuck? Did he really just do that? Did he really just do that? What the fuck? Did he really just do that? Damn. He oh, I don't got anything for Alistair now. Oh. Okay, we're gonna activate. Normal summon. This makes me regret taking out the other Ronin Toad because now we don't have shit. This makes me regret it because now I don't have shit. Alistair is going to come out. Oh shit, Red Eyes. Red Eyes is going to come out. I thought it was Alistair. No. Damn. GG. If I had that other copy of, uh, what do you call it, of Ronin Totem though, no, it's just one duel. It's just one duel. I'm not, I'm not going to put it back. Let's go against player now. Player versus player. That was crazy though. He had that one copy of fucking Call by the Grave. It's at one and he fucking had it. What are the fucking odds? Okay, so I have Solemn, I have two Compulsories. You know what I am missing in this deck that I've noticed? I'm missing something to like pop back row. I do have a cup on my side deck like Heavy Storm Duster, but that better not be Harpy Side Duster. Oh shit, it's a Monarchs again. Okay, no, that's fine. As long as he doesn't like normal summon, then we're good. Pantheon. That's fine. We don't care about that. We just don't want him to normal summon. It's this guy again. The one with the no extra deck.
my brother actually plays this so I I've gone against it they got a little bit better because I think one of their their cards got uh, unlimited so it kind of boosted their consistency and also uh, there's this one card do I get to choose okay confirm there's this new pendulum monster like the card to add to the hand to your hand what the fuck why do I get this? okay that one yeah there's this new pendulum card that's basically I think an upstart goblin for them okay that's fine It's not even gonna be tributes coming, my guy. Return of the monarchs. Okay, you cannot specify when you tribute summoning monster. Okay, I, I know what that does. But I don't have any monsters, so you can't use my monsters. And you don't have any monsters, so you can't tribute summon. Summoning spelled and traps. What'd he send? Oh, this bitch. Now he oh crap. Okay, so we just don't want him to control attributes on monster because this is what we were afraid of last the last time we faced them. This locks me out of my extra deck. If he controls the tribute summon monster, so we don't want him to have a tribute summon monster. Which is he gonna tribute. And too bad we have a solemn. So it was technically not never on a field. I think we're safe. Ah, damn it. We're not drawing our fucking monsters. It's okay though. We we have um Compulsory and we have Grave Digger Trap. Oh, he's gonna special on that shit, isn't he? Can my shit? No, it's like it's not a monster, so it's not gonna. I will put that shit back in your hand. Yeah, let's put it back in the hand. <laughs> Trap card. <laughs> yeah, put that shit back in your hand. That way you have to set it now in order to play it. Oh wait, no. He can't he can't even uh make it become a monster, right? Cause it needs to be it comes out on the field uh from the graveyard. I think it has a different effect when it's um right here. What does this do? This card, yeah, I cannot special my extra deck. Oh, if you do, okay, we're just gonna negate that. Basically, special summons a vassal token to my field. Okay, okay, let's read it again. If this card is in your hand, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. Also, special summon this card. And if you do special summon one vest token to your opponent's field in the best position. If this card is tributed for a tribute summon, you can activate this effect. You can tribute summon one monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your number seven. Okay, so, oh, what the fuck? We do this shit? What are we supposed to do with this? See, this is why I, I run only one. That's why I run only one. I didn't want to fucking see him. Look, we run one copy and we saw him. And we want some what the fuck. Okay, so he's gonna draw that. So he's basically thinning out his deck. Cause he can't really do anything either. No. 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 <laughs> What the fuck, really? I guess we're gonna have to, um, let it go through. We have even, even wing match, so we're gonna clear his field. That's fine, I want my field to clear anyway. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna do that. Now he's gonna 
do that. He's gonna attribute this to bring out his, uh, what do you call it? Oh, shit. I think one of his monarch monsters lets him special summon, um, a monarch from here. Oh, shit. Is this the one? Does this card tribute something you can banish one spell card from your graveyard? Add one card with the same name as the banish. Okay. I haven't really seen this one. Okay, now he's adding. I think that's the one that lets him special man. There's a monarch. I forgot what its name is, but there's a monarch that lets you, uh, I think, banish from my hand or top of deck or field, I think. Or it sends it back to the deck. I, I don't know which one, but it's one of those. And since he attacked, we're gonna get to activate. Evenly match. And now he only has to control one card, so I'm assuming he's gonna leave this shit on the field. Goodbye. He didn't leave his monster on the field? What the fuck? Okay, finally. Finally, we, we draw something. Okay, sign. Sign so in mining. I swear to God, if he has an Ash Blossom, I think that's game for me. If he has an Ash Blossom, nope. We're gonna grab our blue tang, and we're gonna be able to go into our basic Marinsis Link Climb combo again. Blue tang. Blue tang is gonna activate. We're gonna send Seahorse. Link away. Gonna activate that seahorse and we're also gonna chain block I know that's not a proper Yu-Gi-Oh term official Yu-Gi-Oh term but it's chain block and add activate blue tank to excavate oh yes we do another another emergency monster now we're gonna special summon a seahorse Activate. Gonna grab our field spell. Activate the field spell. Activate. I mean, like summon to Core Anemone. Don't activate the field spell yet. I'm gonna activate Core Anemone. Should I bring this one out? No, there's no, there's no benefit in bringing that one out. And now we're just gonna link climb into marbled rock. And yes, now we're gonna activate. And yes, we're gonna activate anemone as well. Anemone's gonna add that. And we're gonna attach, attach, and attach. And with this, we're gonna activate, add back our seahorse. Wait, is that game? That's game. <laughs> That's game. <laughs> I didn't even fucking realize he had 4,000. I forgot we used double uh, Grave Digger Trap on him. That's game. Ah, oh, crap, never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I forgot that shit was in the graveyard. Oh, I thought we had game. I thought this was it. Alright, we're just gonna go in my phase two. And that's all we could do. We can activate these from the hand, so. You know, let's just set one just in case he has something. But we could activate these from the hand because we control a level three or higher link monster. And I know he has a card that's probably gonna tribute my shit. If he doesn't, that'd be great, cause that that means we we won the game. Okay, my monster's still equipped. 
Unfortunately, this is probably this is not useless. It gives no boost or anything, but it's still equipped. I can't activate that because that's a normal monster, right? Yeah, it's a normal monster, not an effect monster. Okay, if he doesn't use my shit for tribute, then we could still be in this game because we have one negation and that's going to protect our monster and our monster has protection as well. We could just discard a Marinsa's monster to uh, basically, uh, this can't be destroyed by battle and I take no battle damage. So it's Majesty's Fiend. Cannot be special summon you play confess summon monsters. Should we activate it right now? Uh no, we're not gonna do that yet. We're not gonna activate it yet. Cause why would we? Let's see what he's trying to do. It's it's not strong enough. I can't special summon, but I can still get over it. There's no threat. <laughs> Behold, my Marissa's away. GG. Now we're in a normal summon. Send that. Mandarin. Gonna activate. And we're gonna activate. What else should we add? Let's add blue time back. I don't even think we need this, but it's 100. We just need 4,000. So we're just gonna activate, grab our wave. Because now we could go into. Actually going to you. Yeah, let's go into you. Now that's gonna let us activate and add back our field spell. Activate the field spell. Special summon. Now we're gonna get to activate Mandarin. Target that. When two uh, Marinsa's monsters are face up on the field, I can special summon Mandarin in defense mode. Uh, but she gets banished. Unfortunately. And let's see, since we're gonna do that, let's go with that. I think that we can have game right here. I'm gonna equip. Equip. And equip. battle I think this is game because now we're gonna activate the effect special summon marbled rock the marble rock's gonna finish it oh yeah let's go Marinsa versus monarchs was this a match or was this just single? Ah, no rematch. Let's try something else. Let's see. Let's play... Whiskey? Let's play Whiskey. Extra rules. No, oh, I don't want no extra rules. I just want a basic match. Let's play Lobo. No, no Lobo. It's gonna be the last one and I'll probably hop off this. Lucho? Let's see what this guy got. So yeah, today's uh, uh like I said, January 26th. We have uh, Blazing Vortex coming out in two weeks here in the TCG. Aw, oh, damn it. Right, let's go to US. Casual. 
Okay, we have you. Let's do you. Gothrum next. Let's see if he wants faces. Yeah, we have Blazing Vortex coming out in TCG in two weeks. Uh, we have a sneak peek this Saturday. Uh, I'm really hoping to pull that Pot of Prosperity card because I don't not. I've seen the pre-sale prices on those, and those shits are like almost a hundred dollars each. They're almost a hundred dollars each, and I'm not trying to spend three hundred dollars on fucking cards. We we're, we're in a pandemic. We can't afford that right now. But yeah, hopefully, uh, I'm oh, we're we're going um, the whole return of the trans crew is going, and we're gonna go to. What is it? Pro Project CCG and hopefully Core has some for for uh, up on our website. Uh, last time we we uh, we didn't pre-order, but we ordered them online and then we went and go pick them up. That we could secure a spot. What do you play? Oh, he's playing this shit. The Bears, right? The Berenstein Bears. Okay, he's playing the Bears. All right, so this is pretty interesting. This is the first time I'm playing playing against them. Or seeing him in action. Let's see what he does. Alright, so we're gonna add our And let's see what he does. During main phase you could tribute one other set level seven or higher monster from your hand. Special summon this card from your hand. Also you cannot special summon monsters except for the rest of the term, except that have a level. Okay, if this card is special summon, you can while well, you control another uh, Ursar Usartic monster. You can target one for a trap card your opponent controls and destroy it. He doesn't control one, so we're good. Just in case. First, then activate it. What? What, what do you mean? You've already started to do it. What the fuck? I really was looking forward to that. <sighs> Alright, let's go to this one. I This is one thing I hate about um EDO. Everyone seems to fucking just quit when things don't go their way. Just play it out. See how it goes. Okay, I'm going first. Okay, so we drew a good hand. We could basically go full combo, as I like to call it. Activate. Are you fucking serious? What the fuck? <sighs> but yeah, we're going in um, on Saturday to try to get some sneak peek packs. And hopefully we pull that pot of prosperity. Because I'm trying to run three in my dinosaur deck to have it at full power. I really like the way let's do this let me show you so right now I have in my dinosaur deck we have three so that's what I'm trying to use it for but I did buy two boxes I pre-ordered two boxes already which should be coming in in two weeks just in case I don't pull it that one day you know just to up my chances I'm really not trying to spend that much money if I, uh, like the most I'll probably pay for is like 60 bucks, but not no $100. Alright, let's go against Yip. No? What the fuck? Alright, let's try this one then. Oh, wrong one. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Alright, I guess we're playing with my dinosaur deck. And we're going second. We're playing with my dinosaur deck. Fuck it. Just to give you a glimpse of what it's going to be like when I get those process. I think I'm going to get off it right now. And hop back on later. If I have nothing to do. Because it seems like everyone that's on right now is fucking quitting. I guess he got a fucking bad draw that, that last one. And just didn't like it and was like fuck it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna hop off. We'll continue this thing later. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more YouTube video. I mean, for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. And if you guys uh, have any suggestions on what kind of videos you guys would like to see, either deck profiles, you know, um, more duels, 
live duels, pack openings, etc., etc. Let us know in the comments down below. This is Ricky572, Return to Chance, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.